Hello, my name is Ramesh and welcome back to the Easy Classes tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how you can fix your network or internet connection problem on your Windows system. If you are unable to connect your internet to your Windows system, don't worry, we have simple solutions for that. In this tutorial, I am going to show you 7 methods that how you can solve this problem. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. First method network troubleshooting go to windows search bar and type settings and open the settings app and find network and internet and here you need to find network troubleshooter click on the network troubleshooter most of the times you are failed to get the problem is fixed in the network troubleshooter if you are lucky the problem will be solved in this stage if you still face the problem, then move to the second method. Go to the windows search bar and type CMD. In the best match result, you will find command prompt app. Right click on that and select run as administrator. And say yes here. Now type ip config forward slash flu sh dns flush dns ip config forward slash flush dns and press enter and please restart your device at this stage and try to connect internet with your windows device if you still face the problem then move to the third method again type cmd in the windows search bar and right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator now you need to type few commands here and i given the commands in the description you can directly copy and paste in your command prompt window okay let's type now net sh space winsock space reset space catalog and press enter now we have reset the catalog with the network sockets and next type the second command that is net sh space int int space ip space reset dot log and press enter and in this case again restart your device once and try to connect the internet if you still facing the problem then move to the fourth method go to the windows search bar and type device manager open the device manager and find network adapter you can left click on the arrow double click on the network adapters and you need to select the network adapter and right click on that and select update driver now select search automatically for drivers and install the driver and if you are unable to install automatically then go to the browse my computer and let me pick from the list and select latest driver here and say next here and install the latest driver now we need to restart the device once again and find if you can connect internet to your device now and if you still having the same problem then move to the next method in the left side corner in the, on the network adapter right click on that and select open network and internet settings or else you can go here settings enter that and network and internet option here and find network and sharing center click on that and go to change advanced sharing settings now you have to follow the same settings what I have done here. Go to the private section and turn on all the options and in the file and sharing printing you have to turn off this and in the guest or public section turn off the network discovery and turn off file and printer sharing. In the all network section you have to select use 128 bit encryption and in the password protected sharing you can turn on either you can turn off so in my case i will turn off this one and now hit the save changes and close the window and again restart your device once 
once you have restarted try to connect your internet now and if you still having the same problem then move to the next method in this method go to settings and find network and internet option and here go to change adapter settings and on the ethernet 1 or 2 and if you are connected with lan then go to this option if you are connected with wifi then go to this option so if you have connected with ethernet or lan then hover on this and select as properties and find internet protocol version 4 or tcp bar ipv4 select on that and go to properties here in the dns server address you need to select use the following dns server address then you need to type 8.8.8.8.8 and in the alternate dns server type 8.8.4.4 when you done say okay and close the window now you need to restart your device to apply these changes once you have restarted try to connect your internet and if you still unable to connect your internet then move to the last method go to windows search bar and type settings and open the settings app again go to the network and internet option and find network reset option here underneath click on that network reset option here you can read that if you perform this option this will remove then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings so you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as vpn client software or virtual switches this means all network adapters will reset and reset the device now and restart your device once once you have done restart your device that's it friends hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please comment share and subscribe to our channel we will meet in the next video until then goodbye